Hello, I'm Andy. So um, I'm a deaf educator and I've been doing life and deaf education for almost a decade. Um, what I really learned about is that a lot of the things that we do in school is really learning cognitive theories, um, empirical research, uh, but there is not a lot of transformation that takes place because it never really gets to the heart, never really gets to the get to our mind. And so what's really could be useful is for us to actually engage an experience whereby we are going through our own funeral. So what we've developed in Singapore is to develop it's something called a die today. Starting with writing a self eulogy for yourself. Imagine you're going to your own funeral, what would you like people to say about you? Starting with that activity and then the following week we start with a living funeral. The people go to their go to an open space, uh, find their own paper coffin we call them, and then lie down and do a 30 minute uh, meditation on impermanence. And through that meditation they get a chance to reflect on what's really important to them in their life. They allow them to think about uh, how do they prioritize the things that's important to them. And after that we, we resurrect them and invite them to use art as a way to express what they have learned. Um, this has been one of the most important learning for anyone that's in this industry because when we go and work with clients or patients or family caregiver if we never had a chance to reflect upon our own mortality what we do and what we say may not be truly authentic and genuine so having that experiential learning could be really helpful for a lot of us